Welcome to Eastbourne Community Fire Station, and we're going to do you a virtual tour. This is our reception area. My name's Pete Cockrum, I'm a firefighter on Greenwatch, and this is Dan Nichols. Hello, welcome. Dan's our watch manager, so he's in charge of Greenwatch today. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you around the fire station. We're not going to go upstairs, but upstairs we've got our fire safety offices and also our community safety teams. But we're not going to go up there today. But if you'd like to follow us, we're going to go into the fire station, into our operational area. So this is the watch room. So in the watch room, Dan and junior officers sit and uh, decide for the day the training programme and things that we need to do and carry out lots of other duties uh, relating to um, training, um, home safety visits and all the other things that we might do as firefighters for the day. And we're going to head back out now to where we get our printer messages from. So when the bells go, we need to come to this room here, and in here, we have a printer. So from the printer message, it tells us what we need to do, where we're going, and which fire engines we're going to send. And we have a number of copies that we can all get a copy each and we know where we're going. So now we see where the printer message comes from. We're just going to go around the rest of the fire station have a little look around. <laughs> so here we've got one of our pole drops. And I think there could be something at the top of this when we come down. So this is the kit room. So on the station we've got 44 firefighters and junior officers and in here you'll find all their fire kit. Um, as you have a little look down you'll see that we've got lots of kit that we have spare tunics and leggings for each firefighter. So continue on with your virtual tour of Eastbourne Community Fire Station. This brings us to our mess and training area. So we still have to have hot meals on station, which we cook for ourselves. And then also we have a training area where we can sit down as crews and do some of our training online. As firefighters, one of our other things we need to do is maintain our levels of fitness. This is very important. So part of the fire station, we have our own gym. As you can see, we've got a large amount of equipment and it enables us to maintain these fitness levels. So once we've received our call and we've printed off the, the message, the lights will come on as well and let us know which fire appliance we're going to take. And the officer in charge will grab the printer message and then come into the appliance phase. So out here, this is where the fire engines uh, live and we've got two fire appliances here and then some other specialist vehicles further down the base. Okay, so in the front of the fire engine, we've got a couple of computers. The far side, the officer in charge has a sat nav, so that leads us to exact, the exact location of our incident call. Then we've got this computer here, which tells us where we are. And if you can zoom into this little H, as we park the fire engine, it'll tell us the distance to the hydrant so that we can then run the hoses and get the water into the fire engine. Uh, we've also got radios and that's to speak to people and officers on the fire ground but also a radio to go to the control room so the people you dial 999 can then respond to our call when we radio through with them. Every morning the driver has to have a test and this button here tests all the lights around the fire engine. So inside the fire engine we also carry a large amount of equipment and most of it's for us to use in fires. So here, built into our seat, is what we call our breathing apparatus set and this is what we'd wear to go into the actual fire. So we've got our face mask and then the cylinder of air on the back. So we can put this on and then go into the fire and um, later on in the video we'll have a, a section where you can see the equipment that we wear and take with us. 
We have large numbers of torches, so we've got torches down here and all sorts of other bits of um, equipment that we'll take in, including a thermal imaging camera, which you'll also see in the video with the kit that we take in with us. into those sorts of uh, rescues. In our top locker, we have emergency equipment such as first aid, okay? In here, uh, we have oxygen. So if we're first and seen and the paramedics haven't quite got there yet, we can issue some oxygen to people that might be having trouble breathing or inhaled some smoke. Um, we can also deal with some cuts and bleedings. Occasionally we might attend an incident where there are some hazards that leak into the environment such as petrol. So this kit here soaks up all the environmental hazards to keep us safe. In the last locker, what you can see is lots and lots of hose. Um, and we can make them as long as we need to for, to get from the hydrant to the fire itself. They clip together like pieces of Lego. This one here is attached to the hose and we bought a hose reel jet. That's ready to go as it is. And then in the back here, the driver takes charge of controlling the water flow to the firefighters who have the hose at the end. So we'll plug our hoses into these turn on the water so that we can extinguish the fires. Okay, so we also have ladders on the fire engine. We've got this really big fire, uh, ladder here, which goes to the third floor of our tower. The medium sized ladder would go to the second window of that tower, and the smaller ladder would go to the first floor of that tower. So round to the other side of the fire engine, this side's much like the other side that we saw a minute ago. We've got more hose here, so we can join all of these hoses with the other side as well to go a long distance. And we've got another one of these hose reel jets that Kelly was talking about that we can use very quickly. We also carry a couple of fire extinguishers just in here for using for different types of fires should we not be able to use water on the fire. So in this middle locker, we've got a a large amount of equipment and in the blue bags at the top we've got things that we'd use if we need to re rescue someone from the water so we've got things that are called dry suits so we put them on they keep us nice and warm in the water and then this red bag in the middle sometimes we get called to help people and they may have fallen down a bank or something and we need to use a, a rope to make sure that we don't fall any further so we've got lots of ropes and carabiners which are lots of things that you might see mountain climbers using in this bag here so we also carry lots of other little things in bags. We've got more lines. We call them lines. You might call them ropes. And we also learn to tie lots of different knots that we might use to help us rescue people. So 
this piece of equipment is um, a really important piece of equipment. We tend to use it quite a lot of fires, and the fires generally give off quite a bit of smoke, and that smoke won't actually come out of the building, even if we open the windows. So it's a large fan, and it's run by a petrol engine here. When we turn it on, we can blow the smoke out of a house or a building very quickly, which one helps us search the building to look for anyone, but also to stop the smoke from damaging the building any further. Now, I think a few of you oops, crazy, will be able to see what this thing is. I'm sure you've all seen it on the TV where the police go to someone's house and they need to get in the door and we haven't got a key. So we carry these in our fire engines as well because sometimes when there's a fire, the door's locked. We will need to get in the door. So we use the door enforcer to get in the door. Okay, it can show us with some of the um, kit that we wear to go into a fire. So first we've got some big leather boots and we call these leggings but you could call them trousers. And then Kelly's put this thing on her head, it's a bit like a balaclava, but it's called a flash hood, and it stops us from getting any hot stuff on our head. And then she's got a tunic, which you'd call a jacket, which is a far easier way of describing it. And if we look on Kelly's tunic, jacket, we can see she's got a big pair of leather gloves that she can put on her hands. And then to stop anything heavy banging our head, we've got a, a helmet, and built into the helmet is goggles, to keep our eyes and a visor, and it's even got a torch in the top to help us see. And then when we went into the actual fire, we need to take with us other equipment to keep ourselves safe. So the first thing we need is something called a breathing apparatus set, which is basically like a, a mask that gives us nice fresh air. So I'll just wait for Kelly to pop that on her back. Do you want to pop that on your back, Kelly? Yeah. Kelly can see how this, show us how this goes on. It's really heavy, so on it there, the big blue thing on Kelly's back is like a, a tank that's full of air, and in there we'll have about 45 minutes worth of air. And then she's just put the mask around her neck. We won't actually put the whole thing on, but the green upright set has lots of other equipment built into it. So we have like a walkie-talkie, we call it a radio, so like your walkie-talkies at home, we've got a walkie-talkie built into it so we can talk to everyone outside and tell them what we're finding. And we've got all sorts of other bits and bobs on it. So that's Kelly's BA set. So just down on the floor to Kelly's left, we'll see there's some other equipment that we need to take with us. The thing nearest to me here is, the, is what we call a hose reel. It's like your garden hose, but much bigger. Um, and that allows us to take a hose with us with lots of water to put the fire out. But also, we use the hose just to cool the smoke so it's not too hot for us while we're in there. Just in front we've got this orange thing on the floor and this thing's called a, a thermal imaging camera. I just call it like our special camera and it's for seeing in the dark and the smoke. So if we need to find people in the smoke we can find them. Um, but also if, if the smoke's really really thick we can find the fire with it because it will, it will show the fire um, in the dark and through the smoke. This thing and it's, it's called a Halligan tool, and it's got all these wedges and things and points on that we can put into the door and use to leave the door open.